Researchers at Colorado State University released their seasonal forecast today. CSU is also the first organization to issue hurricane season outlooks. They've been at it since 1984, almost 40 years. They're calling for 19 named storms, nine of which could become hurricanes. Of those nine, four are expected to become major hurricanes. That means a category three or higher with winds of at least 115 miles per hour. Right after Colorado State released their predictions today at the National Tropical Weather Conference in Texas, I talked to lead researcher Dr. Philip Klotzbach. What elements go into making the decisions for a forecast like that, looking ahead to several months in something like a hurricane season? Yeah, so we use um, basically large scale conditions, so scale conditions that are present in the atmosphere and the ocean right now. And then we also kind of project those out as to what we expect to see for the peak of the season. So one of the big reasons why we're forecasting an above normal hurricane season is because uh, we do not anticipate El Nino conditions this summer and fall. El Nino is warmer than normal waters in the central and eastern tropical Pacific. When El Nino occurs, it tends to increase upper level winds, so winds at 20 to 30,000 feet in the atmosphere tearing apart hurricanes as they're trying to develop and intensify. We don't anticipate El Nino this summer and fall, so we think the wind patterns are likely to be more conducive for hurricanes. Also, the, currently the tropical Atlantic, where the hurricanes typically form, is near average for water temperatures, but the subtropical Atlantic is somewhat warmer than normal, and especially when it's warmer than normal in the eastern part of the subtropical Atlantic, say off the coast of Portugal, what that tends to do is then uh, cause pressures to fall in the tropical Atlantic. And when those pressures fall, you typically have weaker winds blowing across the Atlantic, meaning less churning up of the ocean surface and the Atlantic tropical Atlantic tends to warm up faster than normal as well. You would also mention in the forecast that there's a higher likelihood this season of a major hurricane impacting the Caribbean and the continental U.S. What pattern are you seeing setting up to produce such, such a forecast? Obviously, a lot of folks here in Florida are raising an eyebrow, of course, that information. Yeah, and so the reason, the way that we do these probabilities is that we can calculate probabilities of various areas being hit by hurricanes using past data, and then we simply adjust those up or down based on our latest forecasts, with the idea being that more active seasons have more landfalling hurricanes. And since we're forecasting an above normal season in 2022, the probabilities of landfall are elevated. Hmm.